So hey guys, welcome to Everyday Family Adventure. I'm Trent. Today I'm here with my friends Jim and Kelly Stockman and they're gonna show us their RV and their setup. It is really cool. Like I have rarely seen these things. You guys have a fifth wheel and they've got a big old huge tractor as their tow vehicle and then they've got a smart car to get around town with. So that's cool. Tell me about your RV. What kind is it first? It is a uh, DRV Mobile Suites 38 RSSA so it's roughly 40 foot long. Total. About 40 feet long. Okay. And then you're towing with this guy, mm -hmm. right? Tell me about this guy. It is a uh, Western Star 5700 uh, Class 8 truck with double bunks in the back. It's got a uh, 505 horse uh, D13 motor and an automatic 12-speed uh, transmission. <laughs> That's like Optimus Prime. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so cool. It, it is. is. I love that. And you got the matching smart car to we, boot. We did. Which is so cool. And it's a convertible. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. So we're going to just take you guys around their RV, let them kind of show it off, and I want them to show off this setup too because i think this is the coolest thing about this whole setup is how they get the smart car up there that's kind of <laughs> neat so yeah take us inside your rv we just want to kind of get a tour of your space hey sir oh and who is this this is jake hi jake you say hi oh everybody loves doggies <laughs> this is a just a nice big open space where you guys have you know, huge kitchen. So what made you kind of choose this model? What's your favorite things about this? I wanted a living room and a kitchen separate. So we have our living space here and... The biggest thing that we like about it is is uh, if we're going to boondock for the night, like at Walmart or whatever, we don't have to put out all the slides. We can put out one slide partially or we don't have to put out either one of these slides. We can still get to the refrigerator. Uh, we can still get to the bathroom. We can still get to the bedroom and use the bedroom for, you know, just for a quick overnighter. Uh, we wanted everything accessible if we needed to pull over on the side of the road. To the bedroom and you can see what it is. Hey, let's go check it out. This is a nice big space in here. It's a king size bed. So it's really roomy. Full size closet. Do you stand up tall in here, Jim? Or do you I got can. a duck? Yes. You're a pretty tall guy, so... 6'5". Wow. Yep. 6'5", and you still got about a few inches clearance on yep. top of you from that. Yep, there's plenty of room. That's that was pretty awesome. one of the things that we needed, it, a tall ceiling for him, because he can hit his head a lot. <laughs> <laughs> He's been known to hit his head a few times. And you said, though, in this space, you guys don't need to put the slide out no. when you're boondocking. This one goes out about six inches and that gives us a six inch crawl space between the bed and, and the vanity so we don't have to push that slide out if it's going to be in the way when we're boondocking. super cool. And then we have access to the drawers and the closet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that makes it nice. Well that is super nice. Yeah. Wow. I love seeing your space inside here and yeah I love how tall these ceilings are. Tons of closet space. Well bring us on outside and let's see the outside of this thing. Let me take you inside the truck. Awesome. Okay. Big step. But this is pretty big. It's got a lot of room in it. Okay. So you, uh, you've got some space in here. Wow, man. What is this? This is a top bunk? It is. It is a, um, a double bunk setup. You've got some cabinets here. You've got uh, some more cabinets on this side. A window pretty amazing and all your stuff up here yep so air ride seats nice and comfortable uh, cabinets for keeping stuff we took the refrigerator out we've got a microwave coffee maker and we're using the bunk for the dog and a lot of storage right now so you guys can use this if you're going to places without your fifth wheel correct yep we could stay overnight in this pretty easily. So why explain to me you have a microwave, which means how do you how are you powering that up with your generator? No, we've got a uh, an onboard inverter, and so it draws the uh, the power off the batteries. It'll run the coffee maker. It'll run the microwave. 
Uh, it'll run the refrigerator if we had one mounted in here. Um, we can make popcorn down the road. We can, we've, we've warmed up burritos if we're <laughs> on a long day. Uh, we made coffee while we're on a long day. It's been pretty nice. All right, so I've asked Jim to just kind of give us a little, um, just a walkthrough of how he gets this thing all set up because I think this is really neat. You guys have these ramps. Mm -hmm. They fold up and they connect right up here somehow. I didn't see how they connected. Yep, they mount right on the bed. Most of the guys that build these trucks um, build the bed four inches higher and there's room. They, they create a, a slide-in shelf to put the ramps. Uh, when we bought this truck it didn't have, it wasn't high enough to do that. So we mount the ramps right on the back and, and clamp them down to the bed. Clamp them down? Yep. And then you have, how do you keep the vehicle on when it's on? What are these? These, these are, uh, these these are, are special, special wheel chocks that were designed by a company out of Kansas, RVH Lifestyles. And they're specifically for this purpose. Um, they had them designed so that you pull the car right up to the chock itself. And then because of the wheels, the wheels have got slots. So we put um, we, we we run a strap around it through a root uh, through a hoop, uh, put it on here and cinch it down uh, with a rod or a or a uh, or a driver. That is really cool. And can we see that once we can we see you do one while we get sure. the car up? Yep. All right. So then getting the car up, you got you and Kelly have a little system of paying attention to things, right? We do. Uh, she looks it over to make sure I'm straight on the ramps and. Uh, uh, about centered on the on on the bed and then uh, she just watches me come up so what are you looking for here Kelly what are you wanting to make sure he I does think, right and doesn't do, doesn't do I'm wrong. making sure the front wheels are pretty much aligned with right in the middle of, of uh, these so that I know that he'll come up straight and you're not afraid he's gonna run into you no <laughs> He hasn't yet anyway, so. Alright, well don't let me stop you. You do what you need to do. Wow, like a pro, Jim. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's perfect. So the wheel chocks on the other side stop me from going over the other side and then uh, we just uh, hold up the ramps, mount them on the bed, strap it down and we're good to go. So what are you showing us now? You're showing us so these are specialty straps that are made. They're a little long. I haven't had a chance to, we just bought them. And so I haven't had a chance to, to cut them down yet. But uh, basically they just slide through the slot in the wheel and go through the, the hoop, cinch it up. Like so, and then as I say, I need to cut these straps down, but uh, they just fit in the in the slot right here. Pull it tight. I use a socket or or this rod, and it just pulls it up tight. And you can see it squishing the tire. It's, yeah, it's done. And you do that on all four sides, on right? On all four, and then that way it it's got an opposing pressure. Wow, that's really, really cool. So then how far does the the nose of your RV then come to the, you know, to the smart car? I've got, I've got quite a bit of room up front. Uh, and then once we, once we swing on a 45, uh, I've got probably nine to 10 inches clearance. Oh yeah, so you don't need to even put your mirrors nope. in. Nope, nope, there's plenty of room. It's a great setup. Yeah. For living full time. It has everything we need. So where are you guys planning on going next with all this setup? We are headed to uh, Arizona to see some friends and then we're going to spend the winter in South Texas in the Rio Grande Valley. Yeah, super fun. And then off to, to meet you guys at, in Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> I just think that is really cool. We don't, you know, I haven't done too many RV type videos, but when you see something neat like this, you just want to talk about so I just thought that was really cool that you guys would get a chance to see how RVing is done so differently and unique, how you can find ways to 
travel with taking maybe some bigger things, but then you can get around with something small. So these are always really creative things. I've always wanted to see somebody load up a smart car like that. And I just think the way you guys are doing it is great. So anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go today. We're gonna do another video with Jim and Kelly to talk a little bit more about their ministry, the things and the hopes and dreams that they have on their heart and what they wanna do. And so I'm gonna let you go today. We will uh, do that video, so stay tuned, subscribe, give us a thumbs up and a like if you like the videos we're showing you. And we will keep in touch with you guys through our newsletter, through Instagram. And remember, we can make the world better. I believe, I believe we can. All right.